Hello everyone, welcome to Nate Studio Desk. This is the Rhino Weekly Tips and Tricks, and this will really be meant for both beginners and experts alike. I think for beginners it might be a new tool or how to use that tool better, and I think for experts it will be hopefully be a reminder of a tool that you may not use or use it in a different way and will just be helpful for a lot of people just to piecemeal get better at using Rhino. Today I would like to talk about creating surfaces with curves and some issues that I've had when trying to jo join those surfaces. Let's jump over to the screen here and first I would like to go over the loft command here and come across issues using loft and it won't do it exactly how I like or there'll be some errors where it doesn't know how to reference each line and so I found a more bulletproof technique has been using the sweep sweep two and I select two rails here and then the two section marks and I have found that I have a little bit more control now if you do have more than two curves let's say I have a series of three curves something to also keep in mind is the order that you select your curves does matter so if I come here and do select them sequentially and press type in loft you'll see it has one continuous mark there and this doesn't happen all the time but sometimes if you select this one then select this one then select this one and I press loft so you can see sometimes you'll get errors where it doesn't know which one to loft first in this case it did work pointing these surfaces and some issues I've come across with this so for instance like I can come here and and press loft and if I press Let's first do do not simplify and I come across here and I select the two curves press loft in this case I'll do a rebuild uh, with four points and now when I try to join these two surfaces I'll type in join and they don't join together so what's important to keep in mind here is let's go loft and then do not simplify now when I try to join this type in join it will be together one more thing I want to cover is extruding curves in plan and some issues that uh, someone uh, in my YouTube channel brought up which is not extruding it as a solid so let's come here and I'm going to do extrude curve now you notice once I type in this command, there's going to be options here, both sides, solid, yes or no. Sometimes it sets it to a default no, in which case it's not going to be solid. If that happens, you can type in here and press cap and it will become solid. Now if you want it to default be solid, you just have to make sure when I press extrude curve, I want to type in solid yes and then it automatically is solid. Something that, some errors that will arise, if you draw something that's not in planar, like for instance, if it's in plan and section, and I come back, okay, and I am going to extrude this, it's gonna say solid, but when I extrude it, it's not gonna be solid. And the reason for that is because you're not working on planar curves. A way to get around that is you type dupe edge dupe edge and I would come here dupe those edges and then who what should I press let's try a loft that might not work not didn't do what I wanted to do let's try a patch patch okay good enough and then uh, join so just briefly before I go on to the last point Another thing that you can do, let's say that this is in non-planar and you didn't want it to be that way. What you can do is type in project to C-plane and press yes. And it will project, I pressed delete uh, the actual input. So now it projected to the C-plane. 
What's really cool about this is let's say you made something non-planar in front view and I move one of these pieces. If I have the front view selected, I can go project to C plane, press yes. And it, it projects it to the C plane in the front view. I think in Rhino 5, it used to just slam it down to the bottom, uh, but now it works that whatever view that you select, it will um, project it on to that plane. And you can also do stuff like create your own planes and project it to whatever plane you want. So there's a lot of, um, yeah, so there's a lot of options that you can explore within projecting. You can project to surfaces. That will maybe be for another, oh, uh, that will be for another uh, weekly <laughs> uh, tips and tricks. So, so, and now when you do extrude curve, you can notice that it's solid. Now the next issue that comes up, which I don't have a complete solution yet. However, if you have an intersecting curve, you can also run into issues. So a way that an intersecting curve happens is if you come here and you have an overlapping curve, like let's say I draw another curve here and then I join these all together. Oh, it's not even letting me do that. So let's say I come in here. I think the only way to get the intersecting curve like that, for this is a more extreme example, extrude curve, and it will say curve selected to extrude includes self intersecting curves. And you'll notice that, okay, it did this solid, but then when it comes in here, it's just two solid pieces. Another thing that can happen a lot of the times is if you have a bunch of curves, you might think that your curve is closed and, or you've drawn it and yeah, you think it's closed, but it's not. And so when you extrude an open curve, extrude an open curve, it comes off as not solid. Now a way to remedy that is if you type the curve and you can just type in close curve and it will automatically close that curve and then you can extrude it and then it's solid. So that's a nice thing to know. Sometimes you will get, like that was a clear intersecting curve. Sometimes, especially if you use the project to C plane command, you can get curves that smashed into one another and you get intersecting curves and you don't really know how. Most of the times in that case, I just redraw the curve and make sure that I don't have any overlapping lines and then we'll extrude it then. Okay, well, I hope this was quick and that you learned something about creating surfaces with curves and troubleshooting some issues that a lot of people have when they're just going through a rhino and creating objects. So yeah, if you wanna keep up to date with the weekly tips and tricks, uh, please subscribe and like this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.